keeping Cocoon together as it is. Yeah, I've heard that too. Apparently, the provisional government is taking over what used to be the job of the Fal Sea. And us Nora members are taking over what should be the job of the government. I still don't know what this Nora thing is. I guess we have to rely on ourselves. I guess you should probably just read the story primer for that, but I don't really care enough to. Alright, so... I guess we have the artifact, so let's head on out, shall we? The gate is where the meteorite fell. So we should head towards Cocoon, right? Ah, lizards. It must be strange to have it there, always watching you. <laughs> out of the way. Still that irritating music. I'm not sure why they think that's a good idea. We need more recruits. Hang on, didn't I just see you over there? Ah, there we go. Let's kick the snot out of that thing. Sadly, this thing is resistant to pretty much everything, so... I don't think it really matters what I hit him with. There we go, let's try that. You've got to basically stagger him. There you go, now three of those. Just increase the stagger. One, two, and three. Now you need to be at 200% in order to make him do anything. Zappy, zappy. There you go. And you are dead, sir. Not so shabby. Alright, uh, easy enough done. We will! <laughs> Someone should... Did, did I just see him jump that? Oh, God, the jumping animations in this game are awful! I really wish they could do something about that. It's such a minor thing, but... Ugh. It's not peaceful at all. I'm being attacked from all sides by monsters of the ether. You are delusional. Everyone in this town is delusional. Every one of them. Who are I'm you? Glad we found the artifact. If you're heading to the gate, take this shortcut. Godot said you were free to come and go as you please. Well, that's nice of him. I don't trust him. He's clearly up to something. No, never mind. He's the most rational guy here. Ah! Very small sand scorpion thingy. Yeah, I think we can just avoid that. Don't really care too much about it. Alright, what is in the ball? Give me its delicious contents. There we go. Come on and get it, you monsters! You did not say that. Alright, fantastic. Let us advance the story in a linear direction. Oh, I see. Now it's got good music. Oh, it's you again. Wonderful. Yes, again. Bring it. Nothing. Do we actually know anything about this guy? I don't even know what he's actually vulnerable to. I suppose we can use the item, maybe. Well, he's evidently not vulnerable to that. Oh, no. I don't have the item anymore. Kind of blows. All right. Alright, that hurts a little bit. That's his slash. Okay. I'm not sure. I didn't have a chance to look at the bestiary, and it's not letting me do it now, so I guess I'm just going to hit him with what I've got. He's got a shield, which looks like it needs to be broken down before I get hit him with anything. There we go. Let's shield it against that so we're not taking too much damage. Very odd screamy music, which... Actually, does remind me of 10 as well. I'm pretty sure that the theme for Jack was quite like that. Was I quick enough to do that shift? Maybe, maybe not. Not 100% sure. Alright, the Mediguard. I don't really know what that actually does, but it seems good. Try and bring his shield down. Okay, he's taking fair amount of damage now. There you go. Have some of that. Have some of that. No, but then you don't like it. There we go. Quick shift. And then back to that. I still like the battle system. As I said, I, I think it's actually pretty awesome. I think that old school Final Fantasy fans probably despise it, at a guess. I haven't heard good things about it, probably. Let me put it that way. But 
for me, who really isn't all that much into Final Fantasy games, I like the fact that it's more active and that I'm actually doing more. Even if I'm just kind of spamming abilities at the moment, one would imagine that it would get a little bit more involved later on. Let's hope that is actually the case. Switch out. There we go. Indeed. It's doing bugger all at the minute, but we've got to break the shield before we do major damage to him. There you go. Shield against that. Back to that. As it should be. Come on. Hit him with everything you got. There we go. There's the stagger. And now just smash the living crap out of him. I'll just eat the swipe, actually. I could use this ability, but... It seems kind of pointless. There you go, he's dealt with anyway. If I recall correctly, using commando abilities helps sustain the chain for longer, but building the chain has to be done with a Ravager job, which is the mage, basically. I don't want to fight you, you're awesome. Can you come back and replace the Moogle, please? Oh, no. I don't trust it. It's a... You see, I don't trust most of the things in the Final Fantasy universe. Like, this can't be reliable, it's a giant chicken. This can't be reliable, it's a toy. This can't be reliable, it's a bloody feather. Feed greens to which I can row. It'll let you hop on the saddle and ride around. You will not encounter any monsters while mounted. That's quite nice. There are some locations. Okay. Fair enough. He's buggered off. Well, so much for that. From sunrise to sunset, it's a hard job. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks it. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, hello. I did not notice that one like there last time. Yoink. Let's have that. Aha! Oi, chicken, get over here. I have some delicious greens for you. Please give me Chocobo theme. This is what I've been waiting for this entire time. It better be a good Chocobo theme. It better not suck. There we go, a Chocobo theme. It's not the best Chocobo theme I've ever heard. I think I actually prefer the traditional one, I guess. It's also utterly pointless. <laughs> I am in a crater with a chocobo that can't get out anyway, so what the hell is the point? Oh, it can jump. Ooh. The chocobo has a better jumping animation than the main character. Square, fix it. God. Oh, you, it doesn't actually sing chocobo in the background. God, it's like Charlie the Unicorn. Charlie, chocobo. Oh. Really, Square? Really? Why would you do this to me? There you go. Ah. You see, the game's suddenly much better now that that theme is playing. <laughs> I don't like the little chocobo sound in the background though. Please don't do that. Get in the water. There's probably no point in going around here. Can I run people over with the chocobo? Because that would be the best thing. I'm fairly sure there's an area I couldn't access before. Oh, hello. There we go. Items. It's excited. A medical kit. How wonderful. I'm pretty sure there was another area that was blocked off earlier. I may be able to get into it. Potentially. I just want to make sure I've got everything before I go. I actually do get a bit completionist when it comes to RPGs. If you can believe that. I have played quite a few JRPGs in the past. I, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but it's certainly not the genre I hate the most either. Some are pretty good. I'm trying to remember which part of the area was blocked off. Like, hey, I suddenly have a chocobo. Suddenly I'm better than everyone here. 
<laughs> just no! Chocobo! Please no! Why? Why would you do that? Alright, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, I don't think there's actually any area blocked off now, but as far as I can tell, that's that's everything. We've been to every area. Alright, cool. Let's advance the story then. I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything I could possibly get in this area. Chocobo! There's still monsters around. Keep a look at Game! I'm on a sodding chocobo. I am immune to monsters. You just told me this. A chocobo. Yes! A chocobo! Thanks, Captain Obvious. What the hell else would it be? Oh yes, the answer the correct answer to that is dinner. Yeah. Why are they surprised by this? Did chocobos suddenly appear out of sodding nowhere and inexplicably I knew how to ride them? How the hell did that happen? Alright. Please give me an airship later. Off we go. Into the gates! Bird of destiny! There you go. Oh, it wants me to dismount the chocobo. Now I'm disappointed. Oh well. Let us go. Interesting that the chocobo is a limited resource. Huh. Oh well. To go with what we've got. Are you sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no coming back. Dun dun dun. I think we're pretty much ready. I haven't seen anything in the town that's worth having. I've got all this money and I can't spend it. I suppose there's no one in the town to buy anything. Alright, let's do it. Advance the storyline. Yes, here we go. Yes, I'm ready to go. It's not a dream or a lie. I know my sister is alive out there. Yes, indeed. I'm sorry I doubted you. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. To be fair, if you were spouting You're gibberish as much as you are... Me. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. We'll find Valhalla, I promise. Well, there you go. That's the first chapter of that game done. We shall proceed a little further, I think. I'm not hating it. I've got to admit. So, you're not going to say goodbye? We already covered this! Oh, God. There's no need. We already have, sort of. Quiet. Lightning's knife. It's been sharpened and cleaned. Oh, you did hey, that. Hey, oh. shut up. Look, my pendant has a brand new chain. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. And Snow was purring like a kitten. <laughs> Someone gave him a good brushing. <laughs> Quiet. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> I want that cat as a party Why member. Why you guys go fess up? Uh, what? Go on. Uh, uh, you too. Hey, Sarah. Uh, I figured no way you're leaving the pendant behind. So I made a chain, you know, so you wouldn't lose it. If Lightning is alive out there, wouldn't want her getting mad over a poorly maintained weapon. You know her. <laughs> if you leave, someone's got to pick up the slack looking after Snow. So I volunteered myself. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's time for me to go. Like 20 minutes ago, you were arguing not I know to. I waiting out there, in the future, between worlds. But I want to see lightning so much. If there's any chance, any chance at all, I want to take it. You can go. But you have to come back in one piece. Promise? I promise. If I believe, maybe a miracle will happen. Oh, come on. The future won't change until you make the first step. You know what you're doing, right? Not a clue. Well, I can't say that I do. See? Told you. This is the first time I've opened a gate myself. Guess we'll just have to find out. It's gonna... Hey, what about Sarah? I'll protect her. I promise you, I vow never to let her come to harm. I don't. But uh, trust me. For Sarah's sake. You see, he's the only sensible guy there. 
I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand damn times. Alright, here we go. I guess this is it. Guess so. Looks like the future starts now. <laughs> cheese! Delicious cheese. And then they died. Game over. Oh, how, that's an inconvenient time for it to stop working. A quick fix. It's okay, I paused the cutscene. Don't worry, you won't see the sad goodbye. Well, you won't miss the sad goodbye. And refresh. And back to the melodrama. Ion cannon charging. You set out on your journey for my sake. You believed in a promise. You believed in a future you could not see. You're an idiot. I will keep fighting here, at the end of the world. I know you will come. I believe in you. Who that? Hell is that? Wait a minute, is that? Sarah. What's he doing there? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> You see why this was a terrible idea? This place is incredible. It's on fire! It's the Historia Crux. The crossroads of the time continuum. Oh, of course. So this is how you were able to travel backwards from the future? Right. Just floated through this nowhere space. It's all that easy, huh? And now it's your turn. At least he'll die first. All right, we are traveling through time and space and such things. So in other words, this is the hub, by the looks of it, the Historia Crux. Select a year and location to which you travel. Apparently you can go to the same area in a different time zone. This is, let's have a look, shall we? Let's read the reviewer's guide because it probably explains it much, much better. Bear in mind, these are written specifically to ensure that you don't give something a bad review by not understanding it. They're kind of useful, I suppose. Ah, oh, yes. Here we go. It's also a little bit of a PR bit of nonsense. The Historia Crux allows for a new level of exploration. Just talk straight. Let's the player choose not only which location to explore, but also what time to explore the location in. Untangling the threads of time is essential to exploring the content of the game, and that's it. And there are gates in the world of Cocoon and Grand Pulse, and require artifacts to unlock them. Once unlocked, the player is able to access a new section of the game, or visit an already unlocked section during a different time period. It's really as simple as that. Not all gates are required to be unlocked in order to reach the end of the game. So, uh, there are optional gates and optional areas if you want to go exploring that you don't actually have to go into. I think that might give some of the guys who were concerned about Final Fantasy XIII's linearity something to think about. It's always nice to have that. So from what I understand of that game, and I didn't play it myself, but I did read a lot about it, that game really had some issues when it came to it just being a straight line and there being nothing to explore or anything along those lines. This game does seem like it mixes a bit more of the traditional Final Fantasy style in there, and I suppose the Historia Crux basically replaces the airship. Which is kind of disappointing. I like airships. Alright, let's see what we've got. The Brescia Ruins. And you can return to the Historia Crux by pressing Start to open the pause menu. Oh, so you can return to the hub world at any time. Interesting. Time will cease to flow for that location and you can safely travel to another one without losing your story progress. Intriguing. Time traveling craziness. Okay. Let's discover what's going on then. Alright, so... That's that area. And you can also toggle between different views. That's the overview there. Apparently these fragments... I don't think... I don't know if the, what the fragments are really for. Oh, there's two more fragments in there? Where? I have to wonder. Where are the rest of the fragments? The OCD part of me is saying I need to go back there. Oh, God. 
And if you don't mind, I need to take a quick two minute break. I've got to swap out the batteries in my headphones and stuff like that. So I will be right back. <laughs> 